very simple and clear myself i have a question at this particular juncture what are the windsors trying to distract us from because i remember yesterday doing a whole piece a whole story of what's not happening and what's happening between andrew and charles and today yes i'm back once again because kiza has a piece about the same and i'll be taking you through it just in a few welcome back yet again to another video to another story i hope you all are doing great from your respective classes thank you so much for our returning subscribers for your love your support and for always tuning in and if you are new here kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our family which is sarsax squared forever king charles are threatening to cut off a prince andrew's five million pound five million u.s dollars private funding we all know very well that's one thing charles not ready to do charles can be you know that one bad person but he's not stupid because i bet andrew has a lot over charles the once he decides to sit down and write it all charles stands no fast to the public eye that's one thing he's not ready to start explaining himself to the public so him cutting off this whole uh, threatening thing myself i doubt if it's true and if it's ever going to happen because we know because if charles is still there protecting uh, you know the sun even after everything else protecting andrew knowing very well there are accusations allegations over him and you want us to believe that he'll do this definitely not charles harry and megan were evicted as punishment charles knows andrew is not going anywhere the story is a distraction with no new information charles will never cut andrew off Charles is a horrible uh, human, but he's not stupid. They're going to recycle this for next few years as uh, content drying up. Not surprising that will happen. Myself, I'm not shocked, but I'm like, you know what? Everything that happens behind closed doors, everything that's happening inside that the public has no idea about, sooner or later than they all expect, it will be out here in the public domain trust me you but the question stands what are the winds we're trying to distract us from with or using this because after all we all know very well that andrew won't just wake up and leave willingly and charles can't send him off he knows once he does there that it's his word against the other person we all know that he always he's somebody say that he's always threatening just do it he didn't threaten harry and megan about frogmore he just did it in december we will get another story about charles threatening andrew because they know very well they have something that only maybe both of them know about they know very well it's only between them so one needs to protect the other for it not to be out to the public let's wait and see how it all goes but charles has failed are still failing to that and i'm just like you know what let's see what they have next for us because this is just gonna be another story another threat cutting off or maybe reducing the funds those are going those are just going to be the headlines that we will just have kind of bear with let me take you through what Kaiser had uh, to say and you also have a chance an opportunity to just comment your thoughts on what you think about the same down below it seems incredibly it seems incredibly inconvenient that much of the past week uh, has seen a revival of uh, where is the princess of wales and then just as uh, suddenly there is a big story about prince andrew Andrew is familiar enough with being the family scapegoat. Although it wasn't that long ago when he was the one being protected with the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex were the ones being scapegoated. Still in the Corel era, Andrew is the family's designated rat. This time, the 
what do you mean a bear is scared look over there at andrew is a blindly obvious so what's the bigger breaking news about andrew this time king charles insists that he will cut off andrew's private funding if andrew does not move out of a royal lounge the royal lounge issue has been a uh, for nearly has been a story for nearly two years now especially after the late queen elizabeth's death my opinion that is case's opinion charles doesn't actually want to evict andrew from a royal cottage but prince william kept demanding that the launch would be perfect for his family anyway we're not surprised it's william pushing everything for his favor just the same way he's always wanted everything that Harry has been able to acquire or establish from scratch all by himself. He's always wanted it, not knowing or not wanting to know how it's earned. He always feels that, you know what, I'm the heir, so I have this whole entitlement. I can get what I want when I want it. That's where he goes wrong. So it's not surprising if it's William pushing his father to the wall with this whole story of wanting to cut, you know, the fans of Andrew. Not surprising at all. Minus a few details here and there, this could have been written in September 2022. That's when Queen Elizabeth died and Charles immediately began plotting all of the eviction he could now do as king. In fact, version of this story has already been reported for more than a year as i said at the beginning there is a reason why the andrew must move out of royal launch story get re gets revived every few months and i find it curious that they are using andrew as a distraction from where and what is kept this week Anyway, yet another reminder that Charles promised his mother that he would look after Andrew and finance his uh, lifestyle. Yet another reminder that Charles is spending over $5 million annually to do just that. Yet another reminder that the Sussexes were evicted from Frogmore Cottage just so Charles could put his pedophile brother in uh, the home. Yet another reminder that you know what, Charles is not worth being given this whole title of a father, a grandfather, or a leader. Because I bet he does things or he acts without giving a second thought of the consequences of his action awaiting ahead. And that's why I also remember doing a whole story that I remember very well. I don't know if you've checked it out, but if you haven't, check it out. Because I bet Charles at the moment, he's so much in a regret. Because he doesn't know what to do. He has no one to help him do everything that is expected of him as a king. I bet everything that he thought would work right after Harry and Meghan left. Turns out that it's the opposite happening. Because everything is falling apart. This old story of him and Andrew, trust me, there will also be another version in a month to come. Not surprising that they use such things to always distract, to always distract people from that whole main question of uh, cats were about, from the misfortunes, from the crisis, from the chaotic thing or things that are happening within the institution at the moment. I don't know what you're thinking. What are your thoughts about all this? Kindly just let me know on the comment section. Hoping to see you guys in our next more videos to come. Bye.